Good evening, everyone. I'm Terry Moran. Tonight, extreme fuel prices call for extreme measures. The cost of a barrel of light, sweet crude oil today touched an all-time high of $143.67 before settling down at just $140. That's just below the record. Well, as for a gallon of gas, the national average is now $4.10, and in California, nearly $4.60. While politicians call for offshore oil drilling or more support for alternative energy sources, all kinds of measures to bring that price down, some people are looking elsewhere for relief, like, say, Mexico, as Miguel Marquez reports. Kerry Manchego is on a mission, a mission to find the cheapest gas. And he believes he's found it, a gasoline nirvana of sorts. Regular unleaded for less than $3 a gallon, diesel just north of two bucks. But this petroleum paradise is nowhere in the United States. It's south of the border in Mexico. If there was a water shortage and the water was half price here, I'd be down here buying water. Okay, good. Manchego needs all the help he can get. He's a contractor who lives east of San Diego. With the housing slump, business is down. To find work, he's had to expand the area he travels. We have to drive farther. There's, there's less jobs. The work is where the money is. The surge in the price of gasoline takes a big bite out of profits. His pickup truck runs on diesel. It costs him nearly $200 to fill its 38-gallon tank. Things are tough. So it's a housing market, it's gas prices, it's, you know, everything, medical insurance. For Manchego, desperate times have led to desperate measures. Before his trip to Mexico, he gave his truck a bit of a extreme makeover. For $1,300, he had a second tank installed in his truck that holds an additional 40 gallons. It gives me 78 gallons of fuel that I can run about 1,200 to 1,300 miles in my truck. Scott Young owns the business. It was profiled in the Wall Street Journal last week. These have suddenly become very popular. Yes. What are these things? Uh, these are what they call transfer flow fuel tanks. Um, they come in a variety of sizes. Extra tanks, basically. Yes. And business is booming. Are you selling more of them these days? Quite a bit more. Um, like, I'd say probably last year we moved maybe like 10 the whole year. This month alone, I've done 12. Transporting gas cans across the border isn't allowed, but connecting the extra tank to the main fuel line makes it legal. So Americans are supersizing their tanks and heading south. A lot of people don't live right on the border, so it's not like a 15-minute trip. It's a good you know, hour, hour and a half trip. So they don't want to go down there every three days. They want to get a lot more, bring it back, and go down once a week, every two weeks. How much did this cost you? It's $1,500 installed. $1,500? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. It's worth it because of the glaring difference in the price of gas between the United States and Mexico. This weekend, we went along with Carrie Manchego to Tecate in Baja, California. It's a scenic ride and a little out of the way. Here we are coming in Tecate. It's $4.89 for number two diesel, and we're about a block from the border. It's going to be $2.20. Three blocks away from here. Actually, diesel is only 215, and on this day, gasoline only 295 a gallon. Compare that to the average price in California, currently 458. Big difference. It's worth the trip. Remember, he was paying $200 for 38 gallons. Now he fills the two tanks in his truck and pays less than that, $175 for 78 gallons. Yes, twice as much gas for nearly the same cost with some change left over. There have been reports that some Mexicans have been angered at Americans coming to buy gas and that some stations even refuse to sell it to them. That has not been Manchego's experience. I say, hey guys, what's happening? Nice to see you again and uh, fill me up. So they'll fill this tank first and then I'll open the top and they'll fill that one. Plus, it's service with a smile. Attendants even wash the windshield. The Mexicans we met didn't seem concerned. I've seen around in every gas station a lot of American people. You look at the cars and the people, I mean, green, gringos like you. And these gringos seemed over the moon with the deals they were pumping. Huh? If I buy it here, then I'm going to be able to save about uh, 75 bucks. They have the oil here, and uh, it can be $2 a gallon, or whatever it is. I don't know what it translates to. I fill up my tank two times a week, 
so I'm getting a free tank of gas every week. Unfazed by accusations that some Mexican stations watered down fuel or built customers by rigging pumps, and undaunted by the growing murderous gang violence along the border. There are bad things that happen here and everywhere else, New York City included. No problems here. These American gasoline tourists keep coming, even though they will burn off some of their savings in the two and a half hour line to get back across the border. I'm buying more gas here because it's cheaper. Mexican gasoline is so much cheaper because all stations are government owned. The cost of gas and diesel fuel is subsidized by billions of dollars. That keeps prices artificially low. Critics say that's money that should be spent on other things like schools and that sooner or later the bubble will burst. Gary Manchego's hoping much later he will actually pay for the cost of his spare tank in four more runs to Tecate. Everybody's behavior has changed because of high gas prices. I mean, I would, normally yeah, I would never be a bear. But he is, and with that change that he had left over. The tacos are great. You can't get these anywhere else. This is Miguel Marquez for Nightline in San Diego. And a taco. Can't beat that. Going to extremes, going to Mexico for gas. Our thanks to Miguel Marquez for that.